Cassie Baquet. My husband Daniel and I have been married for just about 12 years. We've got five kids, Tyler, Tannen, Taylee, and our twins, Tabby and Trax. And Trax is our little buddy who's got cystic fibrosis. Now don't take off your diaper. I'm gonna spray you. Ah! Min! Min! Oh, babies, get in. Min! We all have mucus in our bodies, right? And ours is thin, like water, and it just rushes around our body and gets everything flowing and moving. Well, people with CF, their mucus is thick, like molasses, and or even thicker. So everything, it just moves really slow, and things stick in it, it's really sticky, and it clogs up your organs. So it can clog up your lungs, or your pancreas, your liver. He has a type called, um, Double Delta F508. He is missing some like protein things and stuff. So his pancreas doesn't even produce enzymes. So anything he eats, and this is why he had failure to thrive, because anything he eats, his body, his pancreas can't absorb any of the nutrition. So he has to take enzymes. He has to take those orally in order for his body to absorb anything. So if we didn't have that, he, he would be dead. Okay, you ready? Do it one more time. Ready? Yes, yeah. I already pressed it. Do it again. Breathe in. Good. Here. Good. Good boy. We're proud of you. Treatment sucks. It's super hard. Um, Trax hates it. I need you to. <laughs> Obviously, it's something that's important to do for all people with cystic fibrosis. But for us, and since we're such an active family and we're always on the go and we've got all these other kids to think about and we love to camp and we love to be outside all the time, a mobile vest, a vest that he can just wear and do treatment whenever he wants would be awesome. We're stuck at home for hours on end each day and it's hard, especially for a little two-year-old. And as he gets older and has more medicine and needs more time with the chest percussion treatment, he, he's gonna be home for like four hours or more, depending on how healthy he is. It's just unnecessary in my opinion, and it would really help a lot if everybody could afford a, a mobile vest. With treatment, the worst treatment I ever had, he was probably about a year and a half, and there's just a specific time where I was giving him treatment and he was bawling. He did not want to put on the vest. He didn't want to be hooked up to the machine. He didn't want to have the saline treatment up against his mouth. He didn't want that on. He didn't want anything to do with the treatment. So he was just bawling. I mean, crying, bloody murder, sound like he was in pain. And I had to put it on him and we're going through it. And I, he kept taking off the vest, taking off everything, taking off the saline, taking it all off, and he had to get it done though. I mean, you have to get the treatment done. And so I literally had to pin down a year and a half year old for 30 minutes straight as he was taking the treatment. And he was just screaming, like he hated me, like he hated everything, like his life was just terrible. And that time, I, I broke down that time. I just began to cry, because it was just, it felt like I was torturing him. And it, it was just such a, something that not every little kid should go through having that forced upon them. But besides that, he can still do everything normal as a normal baby can do, especially since we started him off with treatments at such a young age. None of the mucus and the side effects that come along with cystic fibrosis haven't really set in yet. So he just, a normal toddler, a little two-year-old, and he can rough house and play. Go up the other way. The beach is really great for tracks because of the salty air and being out in the ocean air, it helps to really break up all the sticky and thick mucus that is flowing through his body and can clog his lungs and other organs. So being out in that is basically equivalent to a saline treatment that he would do at home. 
Um, also, in my opinion, the tumbling around in the waves and getting pummeled by waves and out there on a surfboard and all the exercise he's getting is helping to shake up all that nasty mucus that is in him. So for us, being a family of surfers, we feel fortunate that we are because it's the best form of natural treatment for tracks. So after the twins were born, my mom was putting updates on her Instagram because she had a pretty good Instagram following at that point. And two weeks after Trax was born, he was admitted in the hospital for failure to thrive. And so my mom was putting updates on for that. And then once he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, it kind of had a big impact on kind of the Instagram community and the following. And we got a lot of support because of that. Um, a lot of people cared and one follower was affected kind of the most her name's mrs polly on instagram and her and her son started making these necklaces right here these are called the pray for tracks necklaces and so she started making them and all the proceeds would go to tracks medical bills because cystic fibrosis is an extremely expensive disease and so she started making these with her little son that's just a bit older than Trax, and it went off. She was selling them online on this Etsy store, and so my mom's followers would start buying them, and they're being sold out within 15 minutes of her putting it up on the store, and they still are today, still being sold out that fast. And so all those bills for Trax accumulated, yet those pray for tracks kind of fundraiser and all the money we're getting from mrs polly which had mounted up to almost twenty thousand dollars already that's paid for all of tracks medical bills for the last two and a half years almost so it's pretty crazy the, all of this that's coming out of the whole pray for tracks necklace thing we haven't even met mrs polly we haven't met her family, we haven't met her son that she started making them with, yet our family, we, we already love them, and we haven't even met them. Since they live all the way on the other side of the world, not sure when we'll ever get together with them. Their family actually surfs too, the husband surfs, and they're getting the boys into surfing, and kind of the whole dream is to get Ticey and Trax to surf together. Ticey's the son that really had the idea behind these necklaces. I mean, a little four-year-old kind of wanted to put this together because he was having fun with it. Flashlights when we're falling into that night Focused on what you feel Just when you were calling The beach is so awesome! Totally radical! Use that! Yeah. Um. We're definitely gonna use that. <laughs>